गुड इवनिंग Hi. Hello. Can you hear me? Good. Yes, teacher. Okay. Perfect. So, how's everything, uh, Francisco, Brenda, Karen, Diana, and Maritza? How are you feeling? How's everything in in, in your cities? Um. um. <laughs> in what? In Santa Tecla is it's fine. It's fine. Good evening, teacher. Can you skip me like for 10 minutes? Um uh, got home from a meeting. I'm getting ready. Ah, okay, okay, got it. We're waiting for you, don't worry. Uh Maritza, how are you today? I'm fine, teacher, and you? I'm fine too. Um, right now, it's it just finished raining. It just stopped raining here in San Diego, so it is something good. Uh, um, let me check the camera works well. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Yeah, it works. Okay, Jackie uh, and Mariela. Hi, good evening. Good evening. So, Francisco, how about you? Anything the same the in my same. yes in my house waiting the raining because we have some around to Four days that I I I don't not see the rain. It hasn't rained in four days. Oh, yes. okay. Yes. Uh, very, very hot. Actually, that's yeah, that's strange because here in Samuel it's really hot, but yes. but it has been raining these days. Yes, I remember that. Uh, Monday, uh -huh. my daughter, <laughs> she gave me the skit of the good night. Oh, that's so <laughs> sweet. You have one yeah. daughter only? Yes, yes. Okay. She's four years. She's four, wow. She's Her name is Sophie. Ah, yes. <laughs> okay, like the princess. Yes. yes. Nice. Uh, do you have children, Diana? No, but I, I'm waiting for it. Really? Mom, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I I, am, I have seven, almost eight weeks. Wow, congrats. Wow. Yeah. congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. That's great news, yes. <laughs> yeah, that's why today I feel a really, oh, a little bit sick. Oh, okay. but, but it's okay. I'm ready for the class. Awesome. Thank you for making that effort. Okay, um, let's check. Who's next? Who's next? Okay, Jennifer and Ruth are here. Welcome, ladies. Yes. Hi. Hello. Good evening. Well, good evening. So it's about time to, to get started, right? As I told you yesterday, today we're going to be talking about a very interesting topic. Okay. So you will have three options, right? You will have three options. Hey, Flor just came. So that's perfect because she's the expert in traveling. Um, Laura and Suleyma as well. Good evening. Welcome. Are you at the work, Suleyma? My teacher. Ah, uh, yes, you are working. <laughs> Hi, teacher. Hello. 
How are you? Pretty good. Happy to see you. Uh, what happened yesterday? Yesterday was a difficult day. I have okay. to. I was doing something related to this job. I am in another program that I have to take on Wednesday. Oh, okay, got it. So you were you were busy. Merlin, hello. Good to see you. Hello, teacher. I'm working right now. Too. I can see that. I can see that. Okay. Yes. Well, uh, thank you for being present. We have, I, I really appreciate that. Uh, okay. Thank you very much. And Bye. welcome. And welcome. Okay. Goodbye. <laughs> okay. So let's see. Uh, Janari, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Laura, how are you doing? Thank you. We're going to wait for Laura. Uh, Karen? Hi, teacher. Hello. I'm driving. Oh, my goodness. I'm, I'm sorry. Up. Okay, okay. <laughs> Drive safely, please. I will be at home in five minutes. Okay, perfect. Don't worry. Thank you so much. That's what I call commitment and responsibility, right? At work, <laughs> driving. This is an amazing group of students. Okay, so um, Harvin, can you hear me? Yes, teacher, I can hear you. Okay, so how are you today? I am fine, teacher. I have a good day. Okay, I'm, gra I'm glad to hear that. Uh, Thank you. Floor, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Good evening. I'm I'm driving, but I almost get my home. Okay, okay. Thank God. So uh, as soon as you can, you let us know, and we can start. Um, let's say working right on the activities that we have for today. So uh, we're going to move on, and well, the topic is very very interesting, very simple, as I told you yesterday, right? So we're going to share about vacations, but you have three options, okay? I'm going to give you three options. The option number one is that you talk about one vacation that you remember that was very special. Uh, that would be number one, okay? Uh, number two, the is about your plans for the coming vacations. That is in, in August, right? If you already thought about that. So you can talk about that. If you don't want any of the, of the two options, you can select the option number three. That is talking about your dream vacation. So uh, if you had the possibility, right? If you had the time, if you had the money, where would you like to go? For how long? What would you like to do? Who would you like to go with? And why would you like to go to that place? So there are many questions that you can answer, right? To, to speak a little bit more, okay? So I am going to give you the three options, okay? You decide uh, what option is better for you. So the option number one is talk about one vacation that you remember that was special for you give details, right? Uh, where it was, when it was, who you were with, uh, what you were doing during that vacation. Uh, the number two is the plans that you have for the coming vacations in August, or I don't know if you have plans for December. Um, and the last topic is about your dream vacation. If you had the possibility, if you could have your dream vacation, where would you like to go? Why? What would you do? Who would you go with if you go, if you want, if you would like to go with someone or by yourself? And uh, when, right? When, for how long? Details about the vacation. So uh, I think that traveling is something that everybody likes. The majority of people will say, yes, I like to travel. I like or I would like to travel to, to other places. And um, that's it, right? 
So you will be in um, small groups, okay, groups of three. So you can listen to two different people, okay, sharing with you about their, their vacation, okay? So you will have exactly six minutes. That means that every person will have at least two minutes, okay, to practice speaking, to share, to ask questions, to answer questions, okay? So it's going to be the way to activate you, uh, your English switch, right? And I'm going to go around the breakout rooms to check what you are talking about, okay? So do you have any questions? Yes, no. So if there are it's no questions, room. okay, it's everything's clear, perfect. So if there are no questions, I'm going to take the attendance and then I will send you to uh, the breakout room, okay? So let me check, Thursday, uh, Beatriz, are you there? Nope. Okay, we continue with the next one. Is Elizabeth? I'm here. Okay, perfect. Mariela? Do I see Mariela on the camera? Yes. Okay, perfect. Uh, next one. Brenda? I'm here, teacher. Hello. Why are you so quiet, Brenda? I'll tell you why. I have. Um, frijoles peruanos on my hand. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Interesting. Mm. Do you want to see class? <laughs> it looks like white uh, beans that we have here in our country, but are very different. It's my first time trying this thing. Okay. Frijoles peruanos. Very amazing. <laughs> okay. That's mm. interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, Okay, let's see who's next. Bon appetit. Uh, Carla? Thank you. Carla, Carla, not here. So we continue with the next person, Diana. I'm here. Lori Dalma. I'm it's here. Almost getting home. Okay, thank you. Francisco? I'm here, teacher. Let me check, yeah. Uh, ready, uh, Laura? I think she was somewhere here, but I don't see her. Laura, the next one is Harvin. Present. Okay, perfect. Next one, Jennifer. I'm here. Juan Jose. Okay, it's not here yet. Hopefully, it's going to be with us soon. Karen? Still, still driving, okay. Uh, Maritza? I'm here, teacher. Merlene? Yes, I'm here, present. Okay, Merlene, I forgot to ask you, what name do you prefer, Merlene or Lisbeth? Uh, Merlene. Merlene, okay, perfect. Uh, Miguel Angel? Teacher present. I'm sorry. I'm walking to my house. Oh, okay, okay. Perfect. Thank you, Laura. And then we'll continue with, uh, well, Miguel, did you hear me? I'm here, teacher. Yes, I hear okay, you. Got yeah, it. Yes. Rolando, you. are you there? Yeah, I'm driving here, but I'm present. Okay. Oh uh, man, you deserve a prize, guys. Uh, you're putting uh, a lot of effort and I, I, I appreciate that. Let me check, Ruth. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Ruth. We'll continue with Suleyma. I'm here, teacher. And Yanari, okay, I'm Suleyma. Here. I'm here. Jackie. I'm here, teacher. Blanca?
think Blanca is not with us today. That's strange. Okay, let's see. Uh, the next one is Freddy's. Are you back? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, so let's move on. Uh, we're going to get started. I am going to send you to the breakout rooms as I was telling you, right? You are going to share, okay, about the three questions that I mentioned. What is the number, the topic? Well, you will talk about the, the one that you like, okay? What are the three options that you have? Number one, talk about your favorite talk vacations. About your favorite vacation or a vacation that was special, right, for you. Okay, number two, the second option. Uh, your dream vacations. No, that's the number three. Uh, your, your next vacations. The your next vacation you plans, uh, exactly. Your plans for the next vacation, that's right. Okay, I like your background, Ruth. They're really cool. Okay, uh, and the number three is your dream vacation, right? So give details, that's what I want, okay? Not only that you mentioned what you would like to do, but details, where, with whom, for how long, right? Specific things that you would like to do and the reason why. Okay, you would like to go to that place. I think somebody mentioned that um, yesterday that one of uh, the dreams was to go to Peru, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so I agree with that. That was one of my, my dreams. And right now I am going to create a breakout rooms for everybody. So you will be in groups of three and the time is six minutes. So you will have approximately two minutes to speak. Ready, set, and go. Please accept the invitation to join the breakout room. Okay, let's have the invitation to, to go to the breakout rooms, please. Uh, Merlin, Suleyma, and Elizabeth. Let me check this alone. Francisca, Orlando, okay. Elizabeth. Teacher. Hello. Um, I have to tell you something. Tell me, please. It's really embarrassed because <laughs> uh, the last night I couldn't participate a lot, but in this moment I'm just finishing the something about the job, and okay, and I can participate in this moment. Okay, okay. So we're going to be waiting for you. Okay, to oh, be ready. And I I would like to tell you something too. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Uh, yesterday, yesterday in the evening, I was making the, the platform. Uh -huh, and uh, I didn't notice and I complete <laughs> all the units. Oh, okay. No, that's okay. You can advance as much as you want. Uh, as long as uh, you understand the topic and you do it well, that's fine. You can mm. progress, yeah, all that you want. <laughs> I was telling to my You're... sister, wow, this unit is so long. <laughs> and then I was checking next, next, next. <laughs> wow. No. <laughs> and then I was looking for the the grades and I noticed that I finished the last exam. <laughs> Interesting, okay. So you're an advanced <laughs> student. <laughs> okay, perfect. <laughs> Okay, sorry, teacher. No, no, it's okay, don't worry. Three, three, three. Okay, I'm going to this breakout room right now. Okay. Yeah. And um what is what is the what? activity? In my lazy vacation. Uh, I went uh, with my family uh, to the beach. 
it was it was an amazing uh, trip. I remember that uh, we left our home around 7 a.m. and we got the place at 8 a.m. We enjoy uh, and we did many activities like walking in the field, uh, swimming uh, in the sea, and swimming in the pool. Besides, we ate different food. For example, sandwich, uh, chicken and pizza, and drink, I drank waters. Uh, the, the, uh, the first floor is is in the middle of the tower. Okay. And you can you you have restaurant, you can find restaurant and, and many places only for to take a rest. Okay. And the second okay. floor is only a uh, uh, an station where where you can take pictures. Okay. And the third floor is the most higher. And okay. it's really amazing when you stay in this part because you can see all oh, Paris, all oh, the rivers, the Sena River. And did you eat seafood? Sorry. Right. You have to say I ate seafood? Seafood like uh, fish, like shrimps. Uh huh. Seafood. Yeah. Seafood so and but only that because it, mm -hmm. I I work I I, uh, I work uh, for two one years ago and and my vacation uh, in the world I I I I, I don't have yet. Okay. Okay. So, uh, so I think that in my next vacation, I I will go to the beach. I will go to uh, agency. Uh, agency. Yes, the uh, travel agency. Yes, 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 yes. A travel agent. Oh, when I, when I buy some. Ticket, from United States. <laughs> yeah. That's propaganda. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> For every place. Foolish. For every place. Every country. Every okay. destination. She's a manager. Yes, yeah, so she's well, a boss. No. <laughs> no. She can get you a discount. No. So, Business class. <laughs> ah, thank you. Yes. And uh, uh, upgrade. To first class an upgrade to first for class for all my partners in, in my english class and the teacher <laughs> and the teacher mm. <laughs> kidding maybe yes yeah, for you too <laughs> okay <laughs> you better an extra point for okay. floor okay <laughs> okay i can imagine that yes i think what's amazing yeah, right. yeah, amazing. Very, very nice. It, it was a good experience in, in, well, when you have a good experience and you have a lot of memories of that, right? Not only in photos and, well, we have, a, you have a good time in Miami, Orlando, Florida. Yes. Orlando, Florida. She remembered <laughs> what she eat. And that time, <laughs> I would like to enjoy there because uh, when you read uh, some things that are there in the Bible, I would like to be in that places that are there. So I think it would be very nice to be there. I think it would be like a I don't know spiritual um, experience if I can say that. Mm -hmm. You could go with Toby Junior. Huh? You could go with Toby Junior. <laughs> yeah. yeah that's true <laughs> that's true maybe i don't know <laughs> but i would like to go by myself because they have like a an schedule place in guatemala uh, i visit 
different place uh, in Honduras, for example, uh, Santa Rosa de Copan is beautiful, is beautiful place. Uh, Santa Barbara is beautiful place. In in Santa Rosa de Copan, it has um, the ruinas. How do you say ruinas, teacher? Ruins. Uh, that is ruins. Yeah, ruins. 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 Ah, okay. Yeah, ruins. ruins. The Copan ruins. Copan yeah. ruins. It. Yes, it's a it's a place uh, beautiful. Uh, we oh. we meet different we meet different uh, friendly people uh, around the different places and around the world. In the future, it's a place I, amazing. In the future, I I think I go to the visit. I I go visit uh, Honduras because I okay. I never go to this country. The past when I go to Nicaragua or Costa Rica. Okay. Okay. That sounds very interesting. Yes. A, a beautiful country. Yeah. Yes, yes, it's a beautiful country. Uh, but Blanca, how are, are you, Blanca? Warm, like Hi. El Salvador. What are you doing? We uh, about uh, the um, your favorite. Uh, okay. I'm on the necessary amount from my mom and from my sister. Um, well, about just that about my vacation. Perfect. Uh, so, did you finish? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, perfect. So we just have one more minute. Uh, so I, what I wanted to, to ask you is like about which topic did you talk? Because uh, I heard that Ruth was talking about her future plans, what she would like to do in her next vacation, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Maritza, what do you talk about? I, I... He told us about the, her last vacation. Last, last vacation. vacation. Ah, yeah. okay. That was in the Holy Week, right? It was in June. June. Yeah. Okay, last month. Yeah. Okay. And and me too. Me too. Last uh, yeah, my last vacation. And I told them that I couldn't go to any place because my mom got sick. Oh. And even when I have, I have many plans to do, I can't do anything because of that. You have to cancel your plans. Yeah. Got it. Just one day before. Oh, okay. That's too bad, okay? But obviously you can, uh, you can make plans for the new ones, right? The new vacations. Yeah, but I okay. don't have vacation on August because I work from an international company so oh. I have to work on the la on the next holiday okay got it perfect so let's go back to the breaker well to see the main there. session uh-huh see you there yes that's right see you there All right, so we're going to move on. Uh, due to time, we're not going to be able to share, right, about what we're talking. Uh, so I'm just going to make a quick survey, right, to have an idea about what you were talking. Raise your hand if you talked about your past vacation or one vacation that you remember a lot. 
Okay, Harvin, Diana, okay, Francisco. So you talk about a past vacation, okay? A special vacation. Jennifer too, okay, Maritza too, very good, and Karen. Now, raise your hand if you talked about your plans for these coming vacations. We'll talk about the plans for the next vacations. I think uh, Floor, okay, Floor is raising the hand. Also Ruth. Uh -huh. Ruth also talk about her plans for the next vacation. And who talked about the dream vacation? Okay, Rolando also talk about the, the next vacation, okay. Dream vacations, um, Jackie, Rolando, Blanca, Ana Mariela, okay. So we have four, Brenda, dream vacation. Okay, cool. So we're going to move on, okay? We're going to move on. And uh, right now we are going to, let's say not play, but we're going to do a little activity uh, where you're going to discover a little bit more about your classmates. But before that, I am going to ask you the question. What do you remember from yesterday's class? What did we do? There, there were some specific topics, okay? So the, can you please tell us about them? Uh, Brenda, you have your hand up, so you can share with us. We talk about first. Okay. Next. Then, after all. Okay, so we talk about sequencers, right? So, uh, so with all the words that we use or uh, to organize steps to do something. Okay, good. Yeah, when, uh, when you describe, when you describe something to do. Correct. Some how to do something. That's right, Brenda. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Uh, connection words. I think we were using that. Uh, that is the most of the thing that I remember that we were seeing yesterday. Mm -hmm. It was that that uh, words to that help us to tell like speak procedurally what we have been doing. Okay, that's right. Okay, yeah. so right now we are going to do an activity that it's called find someone who. Find someone who. So this is the first time that I do it online. Okay, I don't know how it's going to work, but uh, the idea is that you are going to to ask questions, okay, to different people. Uh, and you're going to take notes, right? You're going to take notes about that. So I'm going to share the screen with you right now so that we have a little recap of what we were doing yesterday. And then I will explain you what you're going to do. Mm, wait a second. Right here. Okay, so um, this is a little bit of what we were doing. Uh, let me check. So we had the, what happened? Wait a second. I think I, let me say I, I erase it. So what happened? Uh, we had different customers, okay? We also discussed how you could deal with a difficult customer. Uh, and you will share that with your, with your classmates, okay? So we had that, uh, the steps of the manager, Moore, that was part of the conversation. Think about something and then you explain it. It was really nice. I, I loved listening to everybody explaining a process. I remember the chicken orange, no, the orange chicken. I, I think that was a, what Rolando was explaining how to cook, right, for example. Uh, and then we had the spaghettis with, uh, with the chef, uh, Diana. Uh, so many different things, many different things. So today, no food, okay? Uh, so if you're hungry, don't worry, you're not going to suffer. So what you're going to do is find someone who, uh, find someone who, some specific activities, works from Monday through Friday. Someone who only works from Monday through Friday. 
Find someone who lives in a big house or apartment. Find someone who has pets. Find someone who exercises regularly. So right now you can take notes, okay? I need you to take notes, write, that, write this down in your notebook. And then you are going to write down the name or the names of the people that do this, okay? That match this. So if I ask the question, for example, to Ruth, Ruth, do you, do you have any pets? Do you have any cats or dogs? And she said like, yes, I have a dog. Okay, so I'm going to write down. Okay, someone who has a pet, Ruth. So I write down the name of the people that say yes, okay, to this. Uh, someone who exercises regularly, okay? Someone who likes dancing or singing. And the last one, find someone who works from home. Okay, maybe not every day, but regularly. Okay, so that's what you're going to do. What I'm going to do in order to allow this interaction is to create breakout rooms for one minute, maximum, for one minute. Okay, so you're going to have one minute to ask as many questions as you can and find out, okay, if your classmate does or has any of these characteristics or any of these activities. Okay, so that's what you're going to do. It's like a little investigation, right? Then I'm going to close a breaker room, create new breaker rooms. You go and you have one minute to talk and to ask questions to that person, right? Ask and answer questions, okay? And then I close it again, I create new breaker rooms and that's the way that we're going to do it. So the idea is that you can interact with at least, at least four different people, okay, from the class. And then we're going to come to the session and you are going to report, okay? So I can ask, for example, uh, Janari, right? Uh, Janari, who works from home from Monday to Friday? And she will take a look at her notes. Ah, uh, Mariela works from Monday to Friday and the teacher, okay, for example. I can ask uh, Diana, okay, who lives in a big house or apartment? And then she's going to check who said yes, right, to that question. Uh, and she's going to tell us, okay? So we're going to make a little, we're going to report, okay? I'm going to ask, ask you for the answers or the names of the people who do this. Uh, is that clear? Yes, you can use a reaction, thumbs up. Okay, good. So we're ready to go. Um, okay, so I'm going to recreate the breakout rooms, okay? Right now we have 22 people. Teacher. Hello. Sorry. What what is MS? Ah, Monday to, through Friday. Ah, okay. Monday through Friday, yeah. Okay. If you want to add an extra uh, piece of information, you want to investigate something else, like find out someone who is married. Okay. So you you ask the question, hey, are you married? Or uh, <laughs> if you want to get more information. And later you can report. Teacher, I added an extra question, right? Okay, and you can tell us. Um, so that's what you're going to do. And the first round begins now. Remember, just one minute and take notes. That's important. Okay, go to the breakout rooms, please. Let me check. Rondo, Freddy, number six, okay. Number six. Okay, go to the breakout rooms, please. I'm going to move you, Francisco, to the room number one. Okay, so are you ready? Let me check if everybody's in the breakout rooms. Yes, okay, two, 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 two here. Okay, one minute begins now.
And just about the work, I work from Monday to Saturday. So I have pets and I didn't do. <laughs> no, I, okay. I don't. Do Remember that you have you have to ask questions. You need to investigate, right? Like, so Maritza, do you have pets? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Okay, no. Um, and then do you like dancing or singing? So you need to ask questions, okay? That is the idea that you investigate, okay? And the time is up. So we go to the next breaker room. Let me finish okay. this. At least I feel like my I feel like my end. Yeah. Teacher. Oh my teacher, God. the time my is teacher. very fast. <laughs> yes. Hi, teacher. You need more time because. I told you, I told you, you're going to ask as many questions as you can in one minute. So you have to be very fast, fast and furious. Don't okay? do blah, blah, blah. Question. Yeah, no blah, blah, blah. Just straight to the point, right? Straight to the point. <laughs> In my case, how, how are you today? Is it rainy? No, that's the point, right? So, do you have any pets? Do you like dancing? Do you like singing? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Okay. Like that. It's it was another opportunity. Yeah, teacher. <laughs> okay, wait. This is round one. We go to round two. Ah, okay. Okay, we have four rounds. Okay, okay round two. Okay, let's go. Go now. <laughs> Please accept the invitation. Questions, questions, right? You need to ask questions. Go home. Now. Okay, go to the breaker rooms quickly. Okay, very good. Quickly, quickly. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Okay, Rolando, do you get the invitation to go to the breaker room? Oh, no, you don't have one, right? Uh, yeah. I okay. Yeah. Wait a second, I'm, wait a second. I will send I'm you home, to the room. I'm home. I, I, okay, very good. Thank you. Right, let's check. Ana Mariela, Ruth, okay, Karen, Harvin, Blanca, Maritza, Laura, and Glenda. Teacher, you, you repeat me the last? Hi, teacher. I think that the time was, was end when I, when I see you. <laughs> no. <laughs> Now you have time. Right now you have 30 seconds more. Perfect. Teacher, in the second one, that say lives in a big house. Or apartment. Or apartment. So yeah. is the big house or apartment? Or apartment. Any of the two so options. Big house and big apartment. No. It's or. Or. Uh -huh. Exactly. Glenda, we live in a house. So we live in a house. No big, is it but big? a house. <laughs> No, it has to be big, right? If it's yes, you write down her name. If it's no, don't write it. Okay. Okay, that's the way it is. Let me finish the break of rooms. Everybody's Oh house. my god. Yeah. Bye bye. Okay, so today you had a little bit more time, right? A little bit more time. So now yeah. you know what you, now you know what you have to do, right? Yeah. So um, let me check this out. I'm going to recreate them. Okay, so we have new people. Um, Selena, Jessica. Okay, I'm going to move some people from to a different room. Wait a second. Don't, don't think this is easy. It's hard to be making these rooms with different people. <laughs> Let me check. I'm going to move uh, floor. Quickly, where... teacher, quickly. 
Yeah, I know. I have to hurry up. Uh, number nine. First volunteer. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Linda, you will be in the breakout room number. Wait a second. Number two. Okay. So, Glenda, go to the room number two. And here we go. Round three. Ready, set, and go. Go, go, go. Uh, please. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Great. I have two pets. I have a dog and a cat. I have Do a you dog. exercise? Sometimes. I don't. I don't exercise. <laughs> Sorry, I don't, I don't like it. Do you like dancing or singing? Singing. Me too. I love to sing. Okay, so you write, you write down the name, right? The person that says yes. Uh -huh. Of course. Yes, of course. you have 30 seconds more. Okay. Okay, do you work? Um, sport? What else? Uh-huh. What is your favorite sport? My favorite is for basketball. Basketball, wow. Mm, what about you? Basketball, volleyball, and soccer. Wow. <laughs> 10 seconds, 10 <laughs> seconds. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, Anna. Hi, good. how are you? Good. You know what you're what they're doing right now, right? Yeah. Okay, perfect. So you're you already cut up with the news okay. so yeah because the first time i can do anything you couldn't do anything i know okay so <laughs> you're back see okay round three is over we go to the round four the last one final round okay new people new breakout rooms let me check i'm going to create only 11 let me see mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah okay good Okay, this combination is going to be explosive. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Yes, <laughs> now, uh, let's see. Ana Mariela, okay, good. Arvin, good, okay. Um, so I'm going to move Diana to the breaker room number nine. And who else is alone? Wait a second. Okay, so somebody. <laughs> Blanca goes to room number two. So let's go, final round. Go. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Uh, okay. And, and Do you? you like dancing or singing? No, I don't either. Okay. Um, I like singing. Okay. I like singing. And you? I don't like. Okay. Um, work from home or office? I work from home. And you? Uh, no, I go to the office. Okay, are you married? 
Yes, I marry. I marry. Okay, you have 30 seconds. I already. Hello. You, you're cheating us. Because Why? we were the same, Francisco and me. Last oh, last okay. So ask me the questions. Ask me the questions quickly. Okay. Teacher. Ask me questions. Uh huh. Quickly. Go from Monday to Friday. Uh, yes, I do. Living a big house? Or no, apartment? you have to structure the question, right? Do you, right? Do you do live? You? Do okay, you live, in a, you live in a big house or apartment? Um, I think it's not a big house, but it's like average. It's house. Average. Yeah, I mean, it's not too small. It's not too big. So, yeah, with the green area, I think it's big. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. Do you have a pet? I do. I have a dog and a cat. Okay. Karen, do you have a question? Okay. Yes. Uh, do you like dancing or singing? Um, um, not really. Not really. No? I do it from time to time, but it's not like a hobby, right? Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Um, Probably singing you... more than dancing. Uh huh. Next. Okay. Are you working from home? At uh, the moment, I work three days uh, inside in, at the office and two days at home. Okay. And here with the English class every day <laughs> from home. Yeah. Okay. Do you do exercise regularly? Um, not really. Not in the moment, but in the past, yes. But I will. I will. I will start doing more exercise. Okay. Yeah. Do you do you prefer uh, <laughs> do you prefer sleep than exercise? I prefer pupusas <laughs> 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 than exercising. Yeah, okay. I know. See you I later. We have extra um, time, teacher. Yeah, you had some extra time, but it's because we had a little problem with one, one <laughs> breaker room. Uh, oh my it God. Wa okay. it, was it was repeated. So I, oh. they, they started asking me the question because <laughs> they already knew the answers. Um, uh, okay. So that's why. Okay, but let's go question by question. Uh, raise your hand, right, to participate, right? So I can you can give me your answers. Uh, who likes, well, who works from Monday to Friday? Can you give me some names, please? Okay, Blanca, give me two names. Two names, Jennifer and Anna, Beatriz. Jennifer and Anna, okay. Diana, give me yeah. two names, two other Miguel names. Miguel and Glenda. Miguel and Glenda, ah, okay. So we have different people who work from Monday to Friday and weekends is, are off, right? Okay, good, or they have another job, we never know. Uh, okay, question number two, uh, Karen and Ana Beatriz, uh, who lives in a big house or apartment? Give me two names, uh, Beatriz, please. Only Brenda lives in a big house. Brenda. Karen, do you have another name? No. No? No, okay. nobody from my, from my classmates from your, living from in your a group. big okay. house. Okay. Flor, do you have another name? Only Brenda? I have one name. You have one name? Wait, yeah. Flor, do you have one or not? Yeah, I have well, one. Marisa, Marisa and Glenda Marisa. live in a house. And Glenn in a big house. Okay, got it. Yeah, I don't know also. it's big, but a house. Ah, <laughs> no, you had to ask if the house was big. Okay. Uh, Rolando, you have a name? Yeah, Rolando. <laughs> okay, it's you. Right? <laughs> yeah, and also Nobody. Jacqueline and also Anna. Ah, also okay, Harvey. okay, okay, got it. Harvey too, cool. So question number three, uh, volunteers for question number three, who has pets? Uh, Mariela and Francisco. Karen, Ruth and Maritza. Okay, you gave me three names, good, Ruth. And Diana and Harvey. Diana and Harvey, okay, Francisco, do you have other names? Uh, yes, Karen and um, Freddy's. Okay, Freddy's, Freddy too, Blanca too. So a lot of people have pets in this in this class. That's why you are nice because you like animals. Okay, let's continue. Um, who exercises regularly? Okay, uh, Rolando, please. Brenda. Give me two names. Brenda. Brenda and Freddy's. Brenda and Freddy's, okay. Uh, 
Let me check. Mariela, give me two names. Karen and Maritza. Karen and Maritza, okay. Beatriz, do you have other names for that one? No, only Brenda no. exercise regularly. Okay, only you have only Brenda. Diana, sorry. I have Glenda. I don't like to do exercise. <laughs> Yeah, I told I told Diana. I mean, no, it was Karen and, and Francisco. That oh I no, no, no! I, I don't I have prefer... Glenda. Sorry. <clears throat> I, I have Miguel. I... Miguel. Okay. I said that I prefer pupusas, right? Um, <laughs> now we continue with the next question. Who likes dancing or singing? Me. Who? Okay, uh, Rolando. Uh, Flor. And Jessica. Laura and Jessica. Both. Okay. Laura like, and Jessica. Uh, like both. Yeah. Both. Okay. Dancing and singing. And, okay. Yeah. In in the shower. In the shower. Okay. And also, Ana Beatriz be, likes to be, sing and dance. Be careful if you dance in the shower. Yeah. Okay? Be careful. Brenda uh, too. Brenda likes. <laughs> okay. Okay. Rolando too like singing and. And then I sing like in the shower. In the shower. In the shower. I don't know why, but I can imagine I, that Rolando likes I, dancing and singing. I dance breakdown. <laughs> <laughs> the turkey. Oh, Freddie Mercury. <laughs> like Elvis Presley. Okay, yeah. got it. So, uh, um, Harvin, do you have some information about, about dancing and singing? I just have a Karen likes to dancing and singing, and Jacqueline just like singing. Ah, okay, good. Freddy likes to dance and singing. Freddy's likes dancing and singing. Is that true, Freddy's? <laughs> <laughs> it's fake news. <laughs> the news, I only like to sing. Okay, only singing, only singing. Got yeah. it. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's go on. Uh, Miguel, do, do you know who uh, works from home? Uh, yes, uh, I have Diana, uh, only Diana. Only Diana. Maritza, yes. uh, who works from home? Who um, works from home? No, nothing. nothing. No, you don't have anyone? Okay, uh, Karen? I have one, you teacher. You work from home. That's true. Okay, I work from home with you, especially with you, especially. Okay, uh, uh, Rolando. Floor sometimes. Floor sometimes. Okay, good. Floor, you have something to say about that? About what? If I it's want. Like... Oh. oh. My ah, that it, or you work, that I, you work that you work from home sometimes. That's what Rolando says. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, so, some days. days. Yes. Good. Okay, so um, now about traveling. Okay, so that is not propaganda, right? But uh, Flor is the one that, who works at a travel agency, right? Travel agency. So whenever you have plans to travel, she can give you some advice, some information. She can prepare a, pl a trip plan for you, right? So and we get a free a free flight. Special flight. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe she can. No, <laughs> maybe she can no. send you a message like, "Hey, there there will be a promotion next month." So attention, <laughs> right? To go to Cuba. Oh, yes, uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Okay, so yeah, we never know, right? international trips. I don't know how to say. International it's flights. International or it. It's national, I don't know. Oh, it's international. Ah, okay. But Thank national, you. I can go with you. Ah, okay, <laughs> wow, okay, wow. Good. Good. Nice answer. <laughs> okay, perfect. So uh, that's just a little commercial. Now I'm going to take the tennis to check who's here and who's not. So I would like to see your reactions about the find someone who, do you like it? Was it good? Was it nice? Was it fun? Uh, was it a little bit crazy? Okay, let me check. Yeah, like, funny. Okay, I see the reaction. Uh, okay, so funny and the ta-da. 
That's one of my favorite ones. And a little hard. So, Freddy's, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Yes, okay. Blanca? Hi. <laughs> no, <laughs> Jackie. <laughs> Jackie, are you there? Present. Okay, good. Yanari? Uh, I'm here. Suleyma? I'm here. Thank you. Ruth? I'm here. Rolando? I'm here. Miguel Angel? I'm here. Okay, perfect. Merlin. Merlin, are you there? Okay, let me check. Uh, the next one is uh, Maritza. Present. Okay, thank you. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Maritza. Karen? Present, teacher. Juan Jose is not with us today. Mm, Jennifer? I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Harvin? Present. Good. Laura? Present, teacher. Francisco? That's the energy, Laura. Present. Floor? Floridalma? I'm here. Then we have Diana. Yeah. Brenda? I'm here. Hey, by the way, uh, the monument of the, or the statue of Lady D is beautiful. It looks very similar to her. You can Google that. Uh, okay, let's continue with I Mariela. Will. Listen. Then we have uh, Elizabeth. I'm here. And Beatriz. I'm here. Okay, perfect. So guys, we're going to move on. Uh, let me just get the computer charger. Um, it's somewhere in my backpack. I hope, if not, I will go with the plan B. Okay, yeah, it's here. Okay, so how many, raise your hand if you work from home. I would like to have an idea about who's working uh, at, well, not every day, maybe, but some days. Who is working some days from home in this group? Okay, Rolando, uh, Floor, Karen, Jennifer, and who else? Nobody else? Ana Beatriz, okay, got it. So that's around five students, okay? Five people work from home some days. Um, okay, I'm back. So let's move on. I'm going to share the screen so that we move to the next step, the next exercise. So what we're going to do right now is how we can use the adverse and transition expressions, okay? We already practiced, we already studied some examples, we already invented, okay, uh, our new procedures with steps. Uh, however, however, we are going to move on and share or learn how to use it exactly, okay? Something I have to remember. And I am going to select the volunteer, okay, to help me out. With this, and the volunteer will be ten, 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 ten. Jennifer. Can you please help me to read the the definition? Okay. Transition words are used to connect phrases or sentences. They express seconds and progress from one idea to the next. Okay. When these words are used. 
At uh -huh. the beginning of a sentence, they are following, followed by a comma. By a comma. So that's something you have to remember about punctuation, right? Uh, after the transition words, we use a comma, always. Um, so we have an example. Uh, well, we have two examples here. And I will ask uh, Maritza, please help me to read the two examples. This and this. First, you have to give option to the customer. Okay. After that, you have to take the payment. Thank you so much. Yes. First, you have to give options to the customer. Like, do you want to pay with cash or with credit card, right? Or with Bitcoin now that is popular. Um, after that, you have to take the payment, right? So depending on the method that the person chooses. Next volunteer, I will ask, let me check. Okay, uh, Miguel Angel, please read the examples um, afterwards, then, and finally. Okay, afterward, you have to take the payment. Then the register print the receipts and you give it back to the customer. Finally. Finally, the customer sends the receipts signs? and you signs. Uh -huh. The receipts and you keep a copy. And you keep a copy. That's correct. So uh, the register prints the receipt, right? And you give it back to the customer. So we use transition words uh, to connect phrases or sentences, right? And then we use a comma. So uh, in order to understand completely how to use it, we are going to complete one exercise, okay, about that. So we go to the next one and we have a volunteer to read the indications that is Ruth. Uh, so Ruth, can you please read the indications for the exercise number six? Uh, yes, just uh, I have a question first. Uh, uh -huh. The word next also is a transition word. Next. Yes. Yes, and uh, we can use after after that or after down. Then. After that. Uh, well, if in this case, uh, after that is a step. So for example, if you're explaining how to upload a video to YouTube, right? So first you go to your channel, then uh, you click on the plus symbol, like new video. After that, so after the step, that step, uh, after them, when you say after them, uh, it's like if you were talking about something about plural in the, in the previous example, and then you say, so Maritza, uh, Jennifer and Marlene are going to participate first. After them, we are going to listen to Freddy's, Juan Jose and Diana. So in that case, you can say after them, right? So you mention some people first or some things first, and then you will continue with the other group or people or things in that case. But as a transition word for steps, we use after that or uh, later or uh, then they have a similar, almost the same meaning, right? Yes, and next? Next is another synonym. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And in, when we use next, in, in what position or after, after what word? Okay, so next is the same as later or then. I mean, you can play with the, with the words, right? Uh, the ones, because they are in the middle. I mean, next, then, after that, you can leave it at the first example, in the second example, in the third example. The ones that you oh, okay. don't have to confuse are first, or first of all, and finally, right? Or lastly, because there are some specific uh, transition words that we use to start an idea, and some transition words that we use to finish the idea. 
So the only position they have is at the beginning or at the end, not in the middle. But in the middle, you can use different expressions no okay. with no problem. Mm -hmm. what, is, okay. what, is, what is recommended is that you use different expressions. It's not like then and then and then and then, like you repeat the same transition, it's not recommended. It's not recommended. Thanks, teacher. Okay, you're welcome. That's a good question. So. Uh, can you please read the indication? Uh, number six. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. Look at the box about and complete the following paragraph. I'll put add punctuation where necessary. Where necessary. Okay. So that's what you're going to do right now. Please take a screenshot. Uh, I am going to send you to the breakout room in purse. So you're going to discuss with your partner what you think is the complement, what you think is the punctuation that is necessary. And I need you to practice when you finish the, 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 the blanks, filling in the blanks. I need you both to practice reading the complete paragraph out loud. Okay, read it out loud. Because when we come back to the session, we're going to check and I'm going to ask for some volunteers to read the complete paragraph. We are going to be doing a reading out loud frequently, okay, regularly, because that's one of the of the ways that I, I want to listen to you and check, right, aspects that we can improve. So right now we go to the breakout rooms. You are going to have five minutes, okay, to complete the exercise and to practice reading the complete paragraph out loud. So uh, I'm going to leave you with this. No, I'm going to recreate the rooms. Wait a second. We have 22 people right now. Okay, I will create the rooms and you go now. Only the exercise six, okay? Good. Please, I will move to room number four. Okay. Harbin needs alone right now, so I'm going to move him to another room. Francisco, Anna, Jennifer. Is first. Yes. This word is first. First, you have we, to complete. Or you have to complete. Analyze. Analyze. Analysis. Analyze. Analyze. Analysis of the training need to your employment. Your employment. And choose the process process uh, you would like to improve in your company. In this, um, the word is um, net. Net. It's uh, necessary to write. Hi, Glenda. What are we doing? I'm sorry. Glenda and me are, are, are lost in the space because 
uh, I have problems with my connection, so uh, I didn't hear oh. the, the instructions. Okay. <laughs> and Glenda was like me. So you have to complete the exercise number six. Okay. I am going to share the screen with you. Okay. So you can see it. That is filling the blanks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Using the information on the previous slide, that is how to use the adverbs and transition expressions. Okay. So you completed with add the mm -hmm. punctuation where necessary. And uh, when you finish, you read aloud this paragraph. Okay. Read it aloud. So you will have to practice reading that paragraph out loud. Oh, okay. okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're God. welcome. So okay. can anybody share the screen or I stay here sharing it for you? <laughs> I guess, which is the number, the page number? That's number, let me check, 20, <clears throat> number 20, if I'm not mistaken. 20. Yeah, you can check it out. Okay, let me check. Oh yeah, here I have it. Okay, perfect. Okay. Thank you. Oh, but you have to start to share. Yeah, I, I have to stop sharing and then you do it. Uh -huh, okay. Perfect. Now I'm going. Okay. Yeah. First, you have to complete an, an analyze of the training needs of your employees and choose the process, process. you would like process, to improve. Uh -huh. the you would yeah. like to improve in your company. After that, it is necessary to write the content and divide it in modules. That is correct, teacher? Models? Modules. 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 Aha, modules. Uh -huh, modules. That's correct. Modules. I... Okay, thank you. I... Sorry. <laughs> okay, modules. And, mm -hmm, and or chapters. After that, it is necessary to write the content and it is in models of chapters. Then you need to select a manual style and decide if extra digital content is necessary. Finally, Finally, uh, revise the manual and print it. <laughs> so we finished, teacher. Okay, so the three of you uh, read the paragraph out loud with the yes. with the answers. Of course. Okay, that was fast and furious. Okay, so I'm going to check just one more breakout room and then we go back to the session. Okay. Okay, give me a second. Is the same. Ah, okay. The same. Process. Process. process and and process. Yeah, teacher. Teacher, I have a question. Uh huh. He was asking me if, how to say process because it has process. As a noun, as a noun is process. Yeah. As a verb is process. Process. Ah, okay. Process. Yeah. So, so yeah. the stress, the, the stress is in the second syllable when you use it as a verb. So process. I'm going to process. I'm going to process the information of the new customers, for example. Uh huh. So right now will be process. If it is a verb, yes. If it is a noun, you say process. Okay. I don't like the process the company uses to hire new people, for example. Okay. Uh -huh. It's too old-fashioned. Okay. So that's how you do it. And we go Thank back you. to the plenary. You're welcome. Yes, and process. Okay. When I have exciting, I have to back. Okay. Oh. Uh, just when you're excited, when you get excited, right? Um, so yeah, uh, I, I have to back. No, 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 no. Well, it's your turn. It's your turn, Rolando. So as you're excited, you're going to be the first volunteer. No, um, no. Yes, why not? 
You okay. have the energy, the motivation. So yeah, Roland that is the attitude. Yeah, go ahead. I don't know. I don't know why you stay in this. this... Go ahead, Rolando. Go, Rolando. Rolando. You, you can, can do, do it. Rolando. Rolando, you can. Wow, you can. You can. You you're can, you're Rolando. Do it. Go ahead. Uh huh. Okay. You're okay. the better. Okay, you have okay. a lot of fun. You have to do it. <laughs> you're you're Thank like you, everybody. Messy. Yeah. So. Thank you, everybody. Rolando. Thank you. I love you, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. okay. <laughs> so when we finish the, the, the course, you can take pictures with Rolando individually, right? So, uh, so you one keep it for one. a memory. One by one. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, we talk with my partner and uh -huh. we, we take some decisions. Um, the, first, the number one that I select is first. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I will read. First, you have to complete an analysis of the training needs of your employees and choose the process you would like to improve in your company. The, in this case, it's plural. So you say the processes. The processes. Well, ah, processes. Okay, processes. Yeah, processes. Processes. Thank you. After, afterwards, it is necessary to write the content and divide the content, the content with its contents and divide in models of chapters. Modules, uh -huh. good. Then you need to select a manual style and decide, and decide if extra digital content is necessary. Uh -huh. Finally, finally. Yes. I don't know how do you say revise, is correct? Revise. 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 The manual, Revise, finally revise the manual and print it. And print it. Okay, very good. So reactions, please, for Rolando. Um, excellent. So Rolando, can you please? Thank you, everybody. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so Rolando, can you please select the next volunteer? Give me a number from one to 10, please. One to 10? Yeah, from one to 10. Uh, five. Five. One, two, three, four, five. five. Flor Floridalma. Ah. Next slide. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The karma. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who said that? Now, <laughs> now, now I see that Rolando teacher, does everything teacher. on purpose. Uh -huh. Teacher, but, but Flor was my partner. Oh, Flor, okay. She, she, I, think I have that, the same, the same, the same, the same Answer. selection. Yeah. Flo okay. Oh, thank you, Rolando. Thank you. Yeah. You're welcome, baby. You're welcome. So, <laughs> Flora, give me a number from one to five, please. Um, eight. From one to five. Oh, uh, <laughs> number, no name. <laughs> okay. Um, four. 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 Okay, four. <laughs> My goodness, what's going on in today in today's class? Um, I don't know. <laughs> uh, one, two, three. Okay, Miguel Angel, you are next. <laughs> okay, teacher. <laughs> Bye, motivation. <laughs> <laughs> Miguel? Yes, yes, teacher. I okay. You. Okay. So go um, ahead, please. Okay. Uh, number one is first. Mm -hmm. uh, first, you have to complete the analysis of the training needs of your employees and yes. choose the processes uh, you would like to improve in your company. Next, it's it's necessary to write the content and divide and in model or chapter. After that, you need the select manual style and decide if extra digital content is necessary. Content. Final, mm -hmm. Finally, revise the manual and print. And print it. Print it. Correct. So thank you so much. Reactions for uh, Miguel, please, syllable player. And 
now we go to the next part. Okay, we're not going to uh, write today. Uh, we're going to leave this for tomorrow. Don't worry about that. So what we're going to do next is a little bit challenging, okay? But at the same time, we're going to, uh, let's say, get creative, get creative because we have one minute talk. So what does it mean, okay? How does this activity work or how does this activity go? Uh, there is, uh, I mean, you are going to improvise, obviously, uh, your partner is going to be with you, listening and everything, or your partners, let's say. Uh, one minute is, a, is a, the maximum, right? If you do it in 30 seconds, it's okay. Less than 30 seconds is not good. So how, this, how does this activity work? Simple. Uh, one person can be with the cell phone, right? Or checking the time with the, with the watch. And um, let's suppose that I'm working with uh, Miguel and Jackie. So uh, Jackie, you go first. So I'm going to take the time. You think about one topic and talk about it for one minute. Okay. And, um, and then Jackie is going to start talking about, let's say, love. Okay. That's the topic that she selected. So, uh, well, I will talk to you about love. Uh, I think that love is something that it's complicated and people have different definitions about it. Uh, for some people, love, it's only related to a man and a woman being together. But for others, it's the love that parents have for their children. Uh, however, there are some people that believe that love doesn't exist and it's just a myth. Uh, if you ask me, my opinion is that love is everywhere. Uh, love is in the air, love is in the water, love is in, in the classes, um, love is in the food. With the heart. <laughs> love is in the heart. Okay. So um, love is love. And that's my opinion. Thank you so much. So that's what, what you're going to do. Okay. So I want you to uh, talk about different topics that you like. Okay. Non-stop. So the idea is to get fluency, to be spontaneous, and uh, to have the ability to connect your ideas, right, uh, quickly, and start talking about something. With, uh, okay, you can make some pauses, like, okay, um, and then you continue, but it's not like, okay, give me one second. Uh, love, love is beautiful. Um, Love is, God is love. And love is in the movies. And yeah, love. Okay, one minute, I finish. No, right? So the idea is that you are more fluent, that you speak more without stopping for so long, right? So if you stop one second or two seconds and then you continue, that's okay. But if you take too much time and you start being redundant, like Cantinflas, right? No, that's not the purpose. The idea is that you say different things about the same topic, okay? That you give examples, that you support your point of view about the topic, and you go on, okay? You go on. So when you feel, when you feel that you don't have anything else to say, okay, thank you, that's it. And then you go to the next, the next student, and you go like that, right? So um, is the indication clear about what you're going to do right now? Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, that's Brenda says yes. What about the rest? Show me a reaction or raise your hand if everything's okay. Good. Jackie says that it's clear. Blanca too. And that Beatriz as well. Okay. Harbin is not in the oh, head. So yes. About love. No. <laughs> you will talk yeah, about the top the topic that you like. The topics oh, okay. that you like. So how much time do you have in total? That's a good question. So in total, you will have 10 minutes because there are three people talking about different topics. So probably, I think that you will have the opportunity to speak about two topics each, okay? You can talk about family, about sports, about food, about 
uh, the pandemic, whatever you want, okay? The topic that, that interests you, okay? Uh, video games, uh, YouTube, social networks, about Perreo and the negative influence that it has in people in the new generations, okay? So your opinion, okay? You're going to express your opinion about the topics that you select. Okay, just please do it quickly, do it naturally, okay? Don't take too much time. Don't worry if you make mistakes. Don't worry if you hesitate, if you have doubts. Uh, it's normal, it's part of the process, okay? But if you do this, whenever you have the opportunity to, to talk to someone, right, about any topic, it's going to be easier. So you have the ability to be spontaneous. Now, that's what you're going to do. I am going to create the breaker rooms quickly. There will be three people in each room. So I'm going to create seven. Yeah, I think seven will be okay. If you are in purse, perfect. So you have more time to speak. So uh, Diana, you're going to be with Miguel, uh, Mariela, Jackie, and Maritza. Uh, Glenda with Janari. Okay, wait a second. Somebody wrote in the chat. Really bad connection. Oh, okay, I'm really sorry about that. Uh, Blanca. Mm, no, this combination is too dangerous. I have to move Rolando to another breaker room. Wait a second. <laughs> Why, teacher? I know Why? my, I, I, I know my Why people. Why it's too dangerous <laughs> when you mention my name? <laughs> no, it's not your name. It's the next names that were together. <laughs> <laughs> okay it's a, it's a combination right okay so um i want i want rolando to 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 give energy to other people right to to share with everybody i know that he's very demanded right but okay love is sharing right love is sharing rolando <laughs> okay, okay. okay okay very nice very nice for me so there is Rolando for all his classmates. Don't worry. Okay. Uh -huh. um, let me check. Jennifer with Harvey and then Beatriz. Very good. Blanca and Karen will be together. Uh, Freddy's Francisco and Brenda. Okay. Three, 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 three. Good. Floor has bad connection right now. So she's not going to be able to be doing this activity. So let's go on. Ready? Set Sorry, I, and I having some problems back now. I'm back. Hey, you're back. Wait a second. I think that yeah, you have you you will work with Miguel. So did you listen to the indications? Uh no, no, no. Uh, one minute talk. Uh, yeah. One so minute you will talk. you will think about a topic, start talking, and uh, any your topic. Is, yeah, any topic, non-stop. Okay. And then when you finish, the next person continues with a new topic, and you go like that, right? Back and forth. Oh, back okay. And forth. Yeah. Okay. okay. Be spontaneous, okay. be natural, talk and talk and talk and talk <laughs> until okay. you have a sore throat like me. <laughs> okay. So here we go. Uh, ready, set, and go. Okay. 10 minutes maximum. On the sign. Okay. We have two people here. Linda, we go to the seven. And root. Okay. Let me check. Ah, there was a power blackout. Good, Ruth. So I set the invitation now so you can go to the breakout room. Uh, Floor, do you still have the connection problems? Mm, apparently, yes. So, Laura, you can accept the invitation to go to the breakout room. So, move you to, okay, perfect. Floor, root. The conversation is about uh, the topic we we both likes or uh, the first 
It's not a conversation. It's just a speech. You're going to talk. Ah, uh, okay, yeah, okay. I have two then... pets, uh, two dogs. One of them, uh, it's called Kobe, and the other one, it's Luna. Luna is eight months old and Kobe three years old. And last week, uh, Kobe got sick. I was really worried about because since I have Kobe, uh, uh, well, I used to live alone three years ago, only with Kobe. So he's my partner, he's my everything. <laughs> and I really love him. To that, that movie, uh, I saw all saga, uh, like Harry Potter. And I have. Teacher, I don't understand that. The middle I have. What? A ah, you had a uh, yeah, you had a power blackout. That's what Tommy like yeah. blackout. So quickly, you will think about a topic. Speak for one minute about the topic, maximum one minute. It can be 30 seconds, that's okay. And then the next person will continue with a new topic, okay? And you go like that, just speaking, not conversation, it's just a speech, right? So the idea is to be spontaneous, to be fluent, right? And talk about something uh, nonstop. My fluency is very bad, teacher. <laughs> That's why you are learning. That's why with, I, I, I think about this exercise so you can develop, you can improve it. So I think it is difficult to me. My vocabulary is very, um, what must I say? Po pobre? <laughs> it's poor Pook. vocabulary. Ah. Yeah. Well, but in this, sec in this moment, you spoke to me for 10 seconds with no problem. Uh. <laughs> So that's what you're going to do. Okay, and Ruth is going to help you if you have some doubts about vocabulary. Okay. Okay. Uh, yes. <laughs> sure, it's teamwork. And you give, you give food, you give the ham, and you have time to play with it. To play with him, also to give caricias. I don't know how do you say that, teacher. Caricias, al gato. <laughs> okay, so caress. That's caress. Is a is a is a synonym, right? Is a is a singular form. Caresses. That would be the plural form. Uh, to the cat, right? So to caress the cat as a verb, right? Or caresses as as a noun. Okay, thank you. To give okay, to the cat. <laughs> thank you, teacher. <laughs> Very sad. It made, me, it made me cry. I don't know. <laughs> it's really sad. It's what? really sad. You have to, to see it. If you want, if you want to cry. <laughs> Sorry, My teacher. goodness. I yeah. little... <laughs> you have a lot of there time. There is a little... <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 yes, I have a, a lot of time. When it when was quarantine, oh my god, I I was happy because I I can see every single drama that, that putting in the in the, in air that was in air, and I update a lot. That it's the list that doesn't update with the dramas that I see. In, the last year and this year. And uh, for me, it's a short list. Sorry, but. My goodness. Okay. <laughs> How many different than me? I have to be respectful. Uh, and all the time, I try to, to read, to have um, an opinion with information. And even when I have the information, I don't try to discuss with anyone because I don't like to have any conflict. And what do you think, guys, about the people who is all the time uh, facing or saying bad things at social network? 
Okay. Harvey? For example, for example, in my case, I don't have type, 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 uh, how can I say? I don't have the type of person in my social network. So That is but, so good. Yes, because I prefer to eliminate that person of uh, out of my life. So after right now, is so popular the politics. How do you say politics? Politics, politics, politics. Politics. And politician, and yeah, if politics. you are talking about the, the person. person. Uh -huh. Politics is a topic, the general topic. Yes. That's right. Okay. When we have the Hi, teacher. Hello. So. <laughs> Just carry me. <laughs> what? No. Yeah. I never what, went. I, I took a shower. Have... I combed my hair. I put on my, my shirt. And I scare you. How is that possible? <laughs> I'm nervous when you, you hear. When you are. No. <laughs> I, that's not the point. I, I'm here to help you. <laughs> yeah. yeah just continue that's right if you have any doubts okay. let me know right and i will i will clarify it um, <laughs> what was the topic uh, we're talking about how do you realize in in our class english class Ah, okay. <laughs> okay, that's interesting. <laughs> I will give you some time by your, for we yourself. Put nervous. You, you're nervous yeah. now. Okay, so uh, don't <laughs> worry. That's fine. So, but just try to do it fluently, right? So you have two more minutes to go. Uh, I think that it will be enough to, for you to finish and then listen to Brit. Ah, uh, okay. You have to wait. Yeah, for tomorrow. Huh? I need to go tomorrow. I and tomorrow? Left. Oh, you have an appointment? Yeah. That's very nice. Do you have, did you already get the vaccine uh, for Corona, teacher? I already had both. Yeah, both uh, shots. What did you feel? <laughs> uh, just pain in my, in my arm, but that was it. Uh huh. That was so. Yeah, oh, I didn't. Wow. Have, I didn't feel anything else. Which one did you get? The Chinese one. Uh huh. Mm -hmm, oh, the Chinese okay. one. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh, yeah so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's not, it, it was. It was nothing like. Do you feel Chinese? I like Chinese food now more than before, but nah. I'm just kidding. Yeah. Rat. <laughs> No, I would never eat that. No, I would never eat that. Language is Mandarin, right? Mandarin, uh -huh. that's yeah. right. Mandarin. Hey, Francisco, you're back. You had connection problems, right? Oh, okay. It's raining cats and dogs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like Iron. I, I like Iron Man. Yeah, it's it's uh, oh. it's the it's the best. Yeah, yeah. Is it? Iron um, Man and, and Spider Man. Marvel production are very interesting. Yeah, yeah, I prefer. I, I, but I, I prefer. I, I, you prefer what? Uh huh. Iron Man. Iron Man. Iron Man. Yeah. Iron Man. Yeah. yeah, because I like. Uh, I do not. How do you say this? I see, Chivatada, from 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 Tony Stark. I like. I like. No, no idea how to say that. <laughs> what? <laughs> You don't, you don't know. You don't know. You don't know. Chivatada, uh, no. Um, Pikis. <laughs> Tony Stark is a Pikis man. Ah, oh, okay. He's yeah. picky. I got it. Uh, yeah, I understand that. This Pikis is like Chivatada. <laughs> ah, okay. That's <laughs> new for me. <laughs> and I, I like. Know it. That. <laughs> for that reason, I prefer Iron Man from. Uh, Spider the Avengers, okay, yeah. rather than Spider Man, okay, yeah. instead of Spider Man, got it. Okay, so the moment of truth. Uh, 
how was this activity for you? You have to be honest, okay? I want to hear your I'm opinions. I want to hear your opinions, okay? So nervous and difficult. Uh, okay, so the activity was difficult and you felt nervous. Okay, why? Why do you feel nervous? Jennifer said that she loved the activity. Diana too. It was interesting. Maybe you said like, it was, I was nervous, but I think it's, it was good, right? It was challenging. Okay, uh, Diana, you want to say something? Go ahead. Yeah, it was challenging, but when you talk about something you really like or you really enjoy, it's easier. It's easier, it gets yeah. easier. And I agree with you. You agree with her, okay. Uh, thank you, Diana and Rolando. Uh, Harvey, you want to say something? Sorry. I will say the same teacher because I think when you are talking about the thing that you really know, it's easier to speak more fluency and as as is to share the your idea. Your idea. That's correct. Okay, excellent. Anybody else who wants to express his or her opinion? Yeah, I'm agree with, with Lady D. <laughs> I agree. I agree yeah. with Lady I agree D. With, with Lady D because uh -huh. I, I if I can and if I can I want to to do a presentation about what I'm talking about <laughs> because I like it the most. I like BTS? really, really. <laughs> no, well, BTS, I love BTS and I love K-pop, but I was talking about K-dramas. I love K-dramas. <laughs> okay, is that the same as Dorama? Yeah, right? Yeah, Doramas. Yeah, no, Korean well, Dorama. Dorama Dorama, it calls to the dramas that it's in Japan. K dramas, oh. it's Korean dramas. Yeah. Okay, yeah. but they are Chinese yeah. too, right? No. 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 no? Why? So, <laughs> Chinese. So, Actually, so not, the oh, not, not China everybody is Chinese. Chinese. Right now, you right now you're offended. Chinese it calls it calls T drama. drama. Yeah. T drama. Okay. Who knows about that? What do you know about about that? Because I am excited. <laughs> okay, okay. I love so, K drama. You're I right. I love K drama. So <laughs> uh, Jennifer, Blanca, uh, agree with that. Good. Flor, you like the same uh topic, the same uh genre? Okay, I think she activated the microphone. I'm, I'm here, teacher. Now I'm okay. here. Perfect. <laughs> okay, so um, let me check. Jackie, how was the activity for you? It was a little uh, um, exciting <laughs> because I agree with my partners. Uh -huh. And you are talking about uh, any topic that you enjoy doing. It's mm -hmm. easy. And you um, share um, your ideas or, well, in a, uh, it for me was, uh, <laughs> was funny too. Okay, perfect. So now, okay, this was just a little, uh, sample a little opportunity let's say okay to express uh or to experience this uh, jennifer you have something to say go ahead please i just want to say that i like the activity because in this way we can get confidence for for example i i shy person and sometimes i get nervous so in this way we can get confidence Talking That's right. about the, the topics that we like. Exactly, exactly. So this is the same that, that I recommend people when they want to start reading in English. Think about the topics that you like. You don't like reading, but you like soccer. You can read about soccer and you're not going to feel like it's a challenge or it's difficult, right? So that's how you can start. Now, I share a link with you through the chat. You can copy that and keep it. So 
I need you to choose one of the topics that appear in that website, prepare, prepare a little speech, and tomorrow we are going to create small groups where you are individually, everybody's going to say a speech about the topic that you selected. Okay, the topic are 150. So you can select any, any of them, okay? And think about what you're going to say, okay, about the topic. If you want to prepare a little speech and say it, it's up to you, okay? But the point is that you think about it and you try to uh, create right, the, what you're going to say about it. So, uh, and we're going to have some volunteers to say the speech in the, in this, to the plenary, right? So um, it, is, it is something uh, challenging and I understand your position. I think I was never in that position. I mean, the teachers didn't do that activity with me, but I consider that it's a chance, a good chance to really see what you're capable of, right? And what you, can, what you can improve, you can identify. Okay, so I, I need more vocabulary or I need to practice more pronunciation or I need to improve my grammar because I make some mistakes. Uh, I need to improve my fluency, right? Uh, so there are many, many di different things that you can get from these activities. And that, that was my purpose today, okay? To give you some ideas, some activities where you can put yourself into the, what, what do they call it? Um, the fire line, right? The fire line. So, because it's easy when you have the, the conversation, right? In the book, but when you have to say the words with no script, with no tutorial, with no help, that's the challenge. And in real life, you're going to speak English with people without subtitles. You're going to speak English with to people uh, without dictionary, without a dictionary, without a teacher, without a book. So you need to defend yourself, right? Fight with the with the language, right? Uh, the best way possible. Okay. So that's the purpose, right? Every class that you have that you have here, I will try, okay, to do my best to give you something that can be useful for you. Maybe advice, maybe an activity, maybe topic, maybe uh, materials, right? Whatever I can. So um, if somebody can send that, that link to the WhatsApp group, please do it. So uh, you can uh, access to the, to the link later. And because right now I don't have it open, but uh, let's move on. So what's for tomorrow? Tomorrow we're finishing the week. Okay, so we're going to have this review, review of what we have been doing this week uh the ups and downs right so we can analyze a little bit about what we can do better for the next weeks and um also we're going to finish with more activities similar to this one so that you can uh get ready for the weekend right with a lot of practice during the week so um questions comments before i take the attendance Teacher. Hello. I think it was a really nice activity. Why? Uh, because in my case, I could identify some, mixta some mistakes that I, that I did when I was talking in English. I identify, for example, when I was talking in English, I never was thinking in Spanish and I, and I didn't translate the words into English or into Spanish. I was only was talking. Correct. Okay. So that's another thing. Okay. Translation can be a neg I mean, uh, something that can affect us, right? When we're learning a language. Mm -hmm. At the beginning, it's normal, but there's a point that you have to forget about it. It's like if I ask you the question right now, hey, how are you doing? Great, teacher. And you, you didn't think, like, how are you doing? That's it. Oh <laughs> That's my right. God. I mean, you do it spontaneously, right? If I yeah. ask, hey, uh, where do you live? Ah, I live in Santa Tecla. You didn't translate the question. You just answer it, right? You didn't yeah. translate the answer. So that is the purpose, right? The more you practice the language, as Jennifer said, the more confidence you get, right? And the more you improve. So practice makes perfect. I always say this. Okay, it's not a mystery, it's not a miracle, it's not a secret, it's not magic. It's a matter of practice, being perseverant, 
uh, trying to stay in touch with the language. Okay. Uh, instead of listening to Perreo, you can listen to the Beatles instead of uh, reading the the newspaper in Spanish, you can read the newspaper in English. Instead of uh, watching the, I don't know, uh, Elite, uh, you can watch uh, podcasts. Podcast. You can Friends, the black, the bl Friends, Friends, Friends. People uh -huh. says Friends. Friends is very good for. Friends for is amazing. English. It's perfect for for real life English. Exactly. Well, so, I'm going to tell that I understand the English really well, really well, because well, I uh -huh. I've seen I have seen Friends almost fifteen times. I don't know, but I I understand really well. Okay, I don't have to translate anything because I understand. But mm -hmm. I can't speak. <laughs> so it's time for the next step, right? So you Practice. need to find a way to be exposed to speaking. So um, even if you speak to yourself and people tell you, are you crazy? Are you talking to yourself? I mean, that's the way it is. I mean, you have to find a way I to do it. I talk to my pets in English. <laughs> <laughs> and the pets understand you. Yeah, maybe I think <laughs> you, you think they try, they try. They you try. think that oh, you lady. think that they understand. Uh, <laughs> and the okay. pet lost but around the pet, your house. The, the pet is from another another uh, planet. Planet. <laughs> exactly. We have to we have to select a topic. Are you crazy, Tom? So yeah, as a as an extra assignment from the platform, right? You need to choose a topic from the list that appears in that website. Prepare a little speech. You don't have to. I mean, spend one hour doing that. Just get some ideas. Okay, what can I say about this topic? And then you will present it tomorrow in the breakout rooms, okay? You're going to be a group of four or five people so that you will be exposed to that little group, right? And in the general session, we will get some volunteers to share their topic, okay? I am, I, I am going to select my topic too, okay? So I give the example, okay? I, I preach with the example. So, um, and that's it. So right now, I already checked that everybody's here. Uh, if there are no questions, I'm going to stay with uh, Laura tonight. And uh, I would like to hear just one more comment or question about any specific, um, let's say, focus or any specific activity that you would like to do more of. Because I have been including some different activities from the book, but I would like to hear uh, which kind of activity you feel that has been more productive or more useful for you. It doesn't matter if you have different opinions, okay? I'm going to take all the considerations. Uh -huh. I love I wish... that we have to talk about, uh, uh, we talk uh, a lot in English. I love that. Okay, so speaking is, for sure, something that we have to continue doing. Okay. Anything else? Anyone else? If there are no questions, so that will be all. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Remember that it's the end of the week. Welcome to July. So today is July 1st, so that's great. Uh, one more month, one less month for vacations, uh, if you're thinking about that. Uh, and hopefully we're going to finish the, the week another in the best way possible. <laughs> another day, another dollar. That's what they say. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Okay, guys. So it was a pleasure. Have an amazing night. I hope that you enjoy your Friday. Good night. Okay, uh, teacher, thank you for thank this you. class. Thank you. Thank you. You're bye. welcome. Bye. It's my bye. pleasure. Thank you, teacher. Yeah. Bye, bye, everybody. Bye, bye, bye everybody. Bye, bye. Bye, bro. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you. Uh, yeah, that's amazing. That's amazing. It's coming soon. Okay. <laughs> okay. So Laura, don't don't leave. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome, Miguel. Have a good night. Take care of yourself, Karen, Maritza. Good night. See you too, Marito. Good night. 
Hey, Terry. Cambió conmigo ahora. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You make the switch. Okay. Yeah. So tomorrow will be Karen, right? Or no, to, okay. I mean, today is Karen and tomorrow is Laura. Yes. Okay, got it. So I got confused. Okay, okay. perfect. Thank you, no Thank you very much. You're welcome. Nice. So Maritza is still with us? Eh, no, wait. Okay. Red. Okay, so Karen, you remind me, of, now that I think about it, that I see you, I you remind me a lot of my sister, of a sister that I have. In Honduras. Really? Yeah, I have a sister in Honduras. And she, <laughs> she resent, well, she looks alike. Uh huh. <laughs> I will share a picture with you one day so you can see her. <laughs> okay, okay. Right. So, yeah. Uh, I'm I'm really enjoying the, the English classes. I'm I'm learning a lot, and I'm I don't know if if I, if it says reinforce something. Re, reinforce, yeah, reinforce. Reinforce some things. Uh, I'm very very bad with grammar. <laughs> grammar. <laughs> yes. Really. I'm very, yes. Uh -huh. I'm very bad. Uh, I I use English in my work, so I I want I want uh, to get a better level of English because I have some meetings and I need it. I need it. So <laughs> you, uh, how often do you use English at work, or do you have to use English at work? It's. Uh, I don't have a, an, an, an a specific periodicity, but uh, sometimes twice a week or maybe three times and some weeks, nothing. Uh, mm. Or some some weeks, I only have to, uh, to send some emails and answer some emails. So it's, it's, it's changing. It's not, it's not the same all week. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. So, but the the skill that you use the most to communicate is writing or or speaking. Both. Both. Both because uh, sometimes sometimes I have to to explain something and ask for some uh, authorized authorization authorizations. authorizations. Authorization. Authorizations. So I have to, I have to explain why. <laughs> okay. Got it. And, and one of uh, of the advantage for me is uh, the people that I have to talk is English is not their first language. Ah. So they speak slowly. Mm -hmm. uh, they they speak French, so the English is easy to understand for me uh -huh, because uh -huh. sometimes uh, I compare when we have a meeting with people from other countries and, for example, uh, people from India, I don't understand nothing, nothing at all, nothing. I, I totally understand you. I had the opportunity to interact with people from different countries when I went to the US for a scholarship. And it happened to me. Imagine, I, I, I mean, I've been using the language for more than 15 years. Uh, and for me, it was almost impossible to understand people from some countries. So it happens, it happens. Uh, yeah. But that's 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 not your fault. I mean, that's not. It doesn't depend on your level of English. It's the way that they speak the language. The problem, uh, in the case of the ones from India that you mentioned, right? But um, you say that your main issue is with grammar. I think it's. I think grammar. It's. I'm always writing an email and putting in the translator. Just mm -hmm. check if, if I'm writing okay and, uh -huh. and 
and I'm not I'm I'm not feel sure about what I'm writing. Okay, I get it. Mm -hmm. And um, how much time did it? Well, you don't have a lot of free time, right? Because you have two children. No. Yes, I have two kids. Uh, uh -huh. but I don't have too much uh, time for free, but I try. You know, uh, usually at this time I'm sleeping. <laughs> So this is a sacrifice for me because uh, I got to bed between 9 and 9.30. So this mm. is a sacrifice for me because wow. I'm sleepy at this time. <laughs> well, but I hope it's a sacrifice worthwhile. Okay. I mean, yeah. uh, because the idea is that you, that you learn, that you improve, right? But... I think that you need to focus on the specific things that you lack or you have, uh, let's say, problems with. So uh, when it comes to grammar, that's one of my favorite subjects, actually one of my favorite parts of the language. Um, for me, grammar was, I mean, the way that I learned grammar or that I improved my grammar was not exactly by reading or memorizing the rules. Mm -hmm. to be honest with you so what helped me the most was to do the exercises so I remember that there was this book that is called um, grammar in English grammar in use and uh, what I did I mean the the format is very simple it, one page with explanation very short explanation and examples and the second page only exercises about the topic so uh and it has more than 50 lessons so what i used to do with the copies that the teacher gave me uh was to okay i i read a little bit and then i started working on the exercises completing affirmative negative questions affirmative negative questions mm -hmm. so i learned how to use the how to use the structures by practicing not exactly. by not by not by reading the the, the explanations so for me, it was mm -hmm. not to learn or to memorize the formula. For me, the key was to do a lot of practice using different tenses in different forms. So uh, learning the verbs, right? How to conjugate the verbs, that is really important. You need to learn, I mean, uh, you can start with that probably, uh, conjugating verbs, okay? Or creating sentences in the most common tenses. So for example, the most common tenses would be, the simple past, simple present, simple future. Past continuous, present continuous. Future continuous is not so common, but it's important. And then the perfect tenses, past perfect, that is in the second place, present perfect, that is the number one, and future perfect, that is the Number three, okay, it's not so commonly used, but it is used. But you need to identify what are the most common, uh, commonly used tenses. Simple mm -hmm. past and past continuous. Simple present, present continuous. The simple future, present perfect, okay, present perfect. And, um, well, present perfect continuous is similar, but the difference is that you focus on the action that is still in progress. Uh, and the past perfect. The future perfect is not very common, but you mm -hmm. can practice it. So uh, something that sounds very traditional, but maybe could work for you is that you write down uh, a sentence and you try to use it in different tenses. In different tenses. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can start with uh, three, simple, simple past, simple present, simple future and practice three sentences, three sentences, three sentences. When you think, when you feel that, ah, I know how to use this, okay? You can move to the continuous form, for example, and then you can move to the perfect ones that are more complex. Mm -hmm. um, so maybe you can do it like a step, step by step, right? Going from the easy or to from the simple to the most complex. And if you learn to conjugate the verbs, you learn how to express your ideas in different tenses and 
you add the element of uh, learning, I mean, knowing enough vocabulary, because when you write down sentences, you need to write down complete sentences. Yes. For example, mm -hmm. if the verb is um, forget, okay? You focus better on the irregular verbs because they are more difficult. So I recommend you irregular verbs. Find out, okay, for example, the 50 or 100 most commonly used irregular verbs in English. So you know that these verbs are frequent, right? Are frequently used yes. uh, in everyday communication. So forget is a common verb. Uh, so simple, past. I forgot to take out the trash yesterday. Okay, it's a complete sentence. But if you say, I forgot my homework, it's too limited. It's too limited, right? So, yes. so you need to think about complex, complete sentences, right? Complete examples in affirmative, negative, or questions. Usually questions is more difficult because people don't know what is the correct auxiliary, right? Uh, so probably you, 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 you should practice, okay? A little bit with the affirmative and the question. Affirmative question, because negative, you know that you're just going to use the auxiliary and not. So it's mm -hmm. not necessary to yes. write examples. But the past, for example, it's, yeah, it is necessary. Simple past and the question. So I didn't take out the trash yesterday. Simple present. Uh, I forgot, right? I forgot to take out the trash yesterday. A simple present. I usually forget to, um, let's say, to check my online banking account. I usually forget to check my online banking account. Um, and then simple future. Um, I am afraid I will forget my best friend's birthday this year too. So I will forget, it's an example, right? Or you can say, I don't think I will forget my mother's birthday this year. Last year was an exception, but this year I won't forget it. So um, just like that, just to give an example, right? So you need to start getting used to the structures, getting used to the structures with different examples, different verbs, different vocabulary. So when you have the, 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 the opportunity to use that tense in the past, in the meeting, right? When you're talking, hey, what happened last month? Tell me the reports. Well, last month we didn't sell a lot of products, but we made new customers. We got new customers. So you're using the simple past. And what about uh -huh. in the present? How many customers do we have? Right now we have 100 customers and two possible customers are going to be uh, ready next week. Just to give an example, future, okay? What is the projection for of the company? Well, we're thinking that by the end of this month, we will have 200 customers in El Salvador and maybe 100 countries in Guatemala, okay? So that's, a, when you see that the structures that you were practicing, you use them in your work, in your everyday communication. So think mm -hmm. about the, 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 the examples that you might use at work. So that would be better for you. Think about examples at work. I didn't okay. finish the report on time. Mm -hmm. uh, I am going to have a meeting with my boss tomorrow. Uh, I need to remember to send an email to all the employees. So that, think about examples that you can use at work in the meetings, okay. in the presentations, in the, on the calls. Okay, and that, think about the vocabulary you use every day in Spanish. That's another strategy. Think, how can I say this in English? Okay, eh, no tengo el inventario listo. How can I say inventario in English? So whatever you do at work, start thinking, how can I say that in English? Even if the conversation is in Spanish, start thinking, how can I say this in English? Because you will have the, the, the necessity or the need to use it at a certain point. Okay. okay, okay. In fact, we are trying to practice with Glenda in the office mm -hmm. because we are in the same office. Mm -hmm. And so when, when we need 
something from the other one we are talking we are talking in english so people okay people, that's uh, a good strategy <laughs> you have your partner there yes so, so we are yeah. trying to exactly to have the conversation the focus on work but in english mm -hmm. with Glenda. that's correct if not if you don't know okay dictionary but you practice exactly. right and you investigate the pronunciation too okay exactly. thank mm -hmm. you so much okay. for the thank questions you, it was a pleasure the number the name of the of the book is english grammar in use yes that's one exact one book that i can recommend you to practice right okay 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 thank you very much you're I very welcome it was my tomorrow. pleasure yes hopefully okay. have, a have a good night goodbye good night. bye